has already risen for deliverance. Let's pray for those that need prayer for tonight. Those that God must believe. And He is God. He is the supreme being who exists of Himself. The Bible said the Father so loved the world that He gave us His only begotten Son. And whosoever shall believe upon Him shall not perish, but shall have eternal life. The scripture said it was for this purpose that the Son of God was made manifested and he shall destroy the works of the devil. The Bible said it's not by any works of righteousness and any man be saved, but the righteous one is Jesus Christ who has saved us, who has redeemed us, who has delivered us from the powers of the devil, who was able to heal us. Jesus took our place upon the cross. His blood was shed. The fire struck on the hands of the devil for the forgiveness of sins, for the redemption of men upon his body. He took all of our sickness, all of our grief, all of our disease, all of our infirmity, all of our soul upon him. Jesus, he took it for you and I. That we can receive our miracle and we can receive our deliverance. That's why the Bible says it on faith. It is impossible to please God. If you are yet alive, you gotta come and face. He that cometh to God must believe. Tonight you didn't come to see a prophet, you didn't come to see a man, you didn't come to see religion or the name of an organization. You came to meet with Jesus Christ. He covenants with men, but he's here by his spirit. And you got to believe in your heart. You got to believe in all of your heart. And you can be healed tonight. And you can receive your miracle tonight. And you can receive your breakthrough tonight. And the Bible says, no, faith is, faith is, is now and it is. The Bible says that all men have faith. In that they are happy, they do have it. So he said, no, faith is. And he better said, and faith is this, the substance of things hoped for. The substance is two things. What God has promised and what you are believing for. Amen. You might be here tonight without a promise, but it doesn't mean that God will deliver you. Amen. You might be here tonight without keeping the commandments of God, Amen. but it doesn't mean that God will not deliver you. Amen. But it also means there is a path that you must take in your heart. You must decide to surrender to Jesus. You must decide to let him take over your sins. You must confess your sins to him. Ask him to remove hatred, bitterness, unforgiveness, jealousy, pride, adultery, fornication. Hallelujah, malice. Hallelujah, wherever. And the seed of sin is in your life. You can ask him to remove it. You can ask him to take it away. When he takes away your sins, he takes away your sickness. He takes away your disease. Because I am not your healer. I am not your deliverer. Jesus is your healer. Jesus is your deliverer. I am the one he has sent with a message of deliverance. With a message of healing. But you got to make the path clear. Are you listening to me? Those that came for their miracle, their breakthrough. You got to make that path clear. That path is your heart. Amen. The Bible said our sins have separated him from us. Amen. Make that path be clear tonight. Amen. If you are here tonight and you're not searching your heart, you will not receive a miracle. Jesus came to those that seek him. He said, seek me and you shall find me. He said, I was, I was sought of them that did not know me. And they found me. He said, no. And it shall be over. Then ask and it shall, you shall receive. He said, Blessed are they who do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Never have a sickness in your life. Never have a sickness in your 
sickness, yes. or a disease that Jesus cannot heal. Amen. But he heals those that make their hearts, their lives ready to receive. Be your heart ready. Cry out from your heart. Tell him what you want. There's a song that I'm Jesus on the midnight. Tell him what you want. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus, my God. Hallelujah. Forget her. Who did you want? Who has come against you? And let God deliver you. Let God heal you. Let God set you free. Come and eat of the bread of life. Come and drink of the precious blood of Jesus.
In the glory of God. Glory of God. The Father. Father. Say Jesus. Jesus. Say Jesus. Jesus. I thank you. I thank you. For healing me. For healing me. Tonight. Tonight. Give God some praise. What, what is your wife's name? Amen. What is her name? Amina Samaru. What? Mm -hmm. Do you have a daughter? Yes, I have four. How many daughters do you have? Four. They, how many children do you have in total? Five. Six. Uh -oh. Five. Your, your wife said you have five. Come with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five. Take your time and check. Or are you taking time and call each other and answer me? What is, what is your first child name? You take your time. Do you find on your wife? Because we want Jesus to heal you. So as you act upon your faith, He has already healed you today. You are driving, you are walking tonight. You are standing up tonight. Amen. He has restored your sight. He has restored your hearing. When, when I do so, I survive. When you survive? I am feeling like heaven. You <laughs> saw your wife and you feel like you're like what? Heaven. heaven. Come on somebody, give me the Jesus. Heaven. Glory to Jesus. You felt the power of God come upon you. Alright, name one of your children name for me. Uh, now I, I want you to respond to me. I want you to talk to me. Take your time. Name one of your, your children name for me. Anyone? Yeah. Sure, I'm from That's one? That's the last one. How long has he called your name? Never said. Huh? Yes. He yes. He don't call the name. So, so it can be about a year, two years, yeah. Yes. I pray that two months you get sick like this. So it's this two months, the first time you call one of the name of the church, you should get it every day. Yes. Come on, somebody, give it Amen. to me. Give me one more brother. And I want you to keep the man in his faith because there's not a use faith. faith. Faith is a tool, it's a weapon, it's a fruit of the spirit. It is a gift of God. Alright? And what I am doing, I'm commanding his faith. Amen. In Jesus Christ to speak and to heal him. So we've got to use faith. So we put come on the, 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 the sit down and we'll try to heal them, right? Amen. And they won't even make a movement of his spirit. But when Amen. you act upon the word of God, it quickens when we'll come alive as we see Amen. it. Give yeah. God some praise in the name of God. Before you talk to you, talk to you, God. Right? But make sure you put on his name to get his house prayer out and all this. Give God some praise in the name of God. Give me a case of water, the best way. A best way? Alright, give God some praise. Like the end, take that back in me now. Come on. Windows of heaven and pour for the blessing that you cannot contain. Amen. 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 And you do hold on the testimony, he said, as you begin to pray, you open your eyes and you saw his wife. Amen. Amen. Come on. Amen. And he said, you can't like your neighbor because the eyes just dumb, you wasn't seeing. Amen. It's here, it began to go. Amen. 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 Come on, somebody. Who is this Jesus? Amen. 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 Who is like unto this Jesus? Hallelujah. The closer we walk to him, the closer to heaven you want to get. Amen. The closer you walk to him, the closer to heaven you want to get. The sun has set free. It's free indeed. That's the Son of God. There is no change. There is no power of sin. Many of us have sinned in our lives and we are fighting to overcome. But listen to me, if, if we, we cannot overcome sin in our own and endeavor in our own, we would not have been the Son of God. Amen. Amen. And that's why David says, some trust in chariots, some trust in horses, some put their trust in months, and I put my trust in the no. name of the Lord. It was God that made David a king and anointed him with, with ability and talent and wisdom on his hands. And it is this God by the power of his spirit.
Spirit and His precious Son, Jesus Christ, through His blood, His cross, His resurrection, is able to take away the power of sin over your life. Be it smoking, be it drinking, be it gambling, be it amen, living a life of prostitution, be it homosexuality, be it pornography, be it adultery, fornication, whatever vice, whatever area of your life you are weak to, you are weak because you are in the flesh. Amen, somebody. But when you come to the Spirit of God and the power of the Holy Ghost to Jesus Christ, He breaks that power of sin over your life. Sin is a spiritual prison. It's a prison of our mind and our hearts. And we become weak and we feel that we can't stop what we are doing and how we are living. But when we put our faith in Jesus and we cry out to Him, all power the Bible says, tell Him that all power is given unto the us on the earth from heaven. And the skipper that whatever we bind of the earth shall be bound in the heaven. And whatsoever we loose of the earth shall be loose in the heaven. Give God some praise. Hallelujah. Keep using your faith. Keep using your faith, brothers and sisters. Keep using your faith. Keep using your faith. Don't you that you've been touched by God tonight, but that is the start. You better keep using your faith. Remember that the devil is a thief, but what he comes to do? Steal, kill, kill and destroy. Right? You've got to keep it point. you got to keep it faith. you got to keep speaking to your sickness, your disease. you got to keep speaking to the demon spirits around your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Yes, Lord, in Jesus' name. Have the Father. Yes, my God.
It should give us some praise again. Let's go. Let's go again. It should give us some praise again. I guess I'm just going to do so on some of that game show. Let me ask you to give God some praise on that. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. I bless the Lord that we have the anointing of healing and deliverance. In Jesus' name, I give them my faith. Thank you, Lord. Father, I'm going to stop. But I look at one of the family. Bring the deliverance. Why do you have to bring healing? Bring the offering. In Jesus' name, I give them my faith. Amen. Amen. Now let's pick up the nice title of the Lord. Glory to Jesus, the Spirit of God.
service in Sandy Grande for the year until all years 19 and so much. And I want the people of, of Sandy Grande, the prayer group of Sandy Grande, to come down to our whole years night service. Amen. amen. That's amen. We are praying with you to receive a, a blessing to go into the new year. Amen. We want to start about half five. The reason we say half five because when we tell the people of Trinidad half five, they'll reach for half six, seven. So we amen. say half past five. Amen. Give it room time and we can start about six. Amen, somebody. Amen. So we can finish about nine, half nine. Amen. Because it's going to be a massive service, communion service as well. It is important. It's our covenant service going into the new year, covering all of God's people. Amen, somebody. Our oldest night service. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 And so this Monday coming, which is the 10th, amen, somebody. Amen. It is the last service in Sunday Grand until the new year, amen, amen, somebody. In January, amen, somebody. So when we come on, the, on this Monday coming, on, on the 10th, we're going to tell you when service will be opening back in the month of January. Until then, you ought to remain in the presence of God. Remain in prayer. We may keep in the word of God. Amen. We may in the spirit of God. Amen. Remember Jesus is the reason for the season. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. Tell you remember, remember Jesus Amen. is the reason for the season. Amen, somebody. It's not Santa Claus and Para is the reason. Amen. It is Jesus. It's nothing wrong with you. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. If you go back, neighbor, brother, sister, house, they eat. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. And they play some Christian para music. Because they are differentiated difference. Eh? Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 Last year when it was blasting over the place for Christmas. Chinese para. Chinese para. What is the next one? Spanish woman. <laughs> Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. So, amen. And I just get to life because I have some neighbors, they got some big, big set of this, big DJs, and when they test not them pops in, yeah, the whole roof shaking, so vibrating. So, hey, all the parang. Amen, somebody. Amen. Remember, Jesus is the reason for the season. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. And so it's important we educate ourselves in the word of God and the scripture. Amen. Amen. The Bible says no drunkard shall enter the, the kingdom of God. Amen. But the scripture said also that drink no longer what? Water. water. But drink what? Wine. A little wine for thy often infirmities. A little. Amen. Tell the universe a little. For thy often what? Infirmities. What is that? Infirmities. When I look at the other mark you. It's like I'm going to put you in charge this Christmas. Amen. 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 Th this is the scripture. This is the scripture that I'm drawn to the letter of the kingdom of God. And that's how you're going to study the scriptures. They said no wrong cut. That's how your personality change. That's you can't control yourself. You become tipsy. That's how you're addicted to You need it every week. You need it, every, you need it once every week as you get paid. Someone. As they get paid, they take a bath. They hope to drink it. The spirit, the concept, is the way that you do things. Even somebody. The Bible said no wrong cut and enter the kingdom of God. Even somebody. Amen. A, a little young boy that grew up with us. When you come by us, amen. For Christmas time, my father is a big punch of cream and then more Spanish, amen, somebody. So you buy tell me, say, well, I give him rum to drink. A big man is talking about it. But 25, you back there, he be all over in every pub, every, in every, every area, amen, somebody. Amen, amen somebody. He grew up as a, a young man, but that's your son, amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. So even be careful who you entertain in your home. Amen. Be careful of entertaining people in your home. Amen, yeah. somebody. Amen, somebody. Yeah. Amen. Sometimes you can entertain an a, a angel. And if you can entertain an angel, where can you entertain to? Yeah. So be careful who you entertain. Amen. 
Amen, somebody. Amen, Amen somebody. Be careful who you're doing this season. Be careful where you're going. There's no way you're going to do it for the sacrifice and what happened. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 Give God some praise tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. So, Amen. On the tech, it's also coming here, service is on the ground. Tell everyone, be here for with everyone that night. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. I'm going to call on Brother Luther and this message I would have prayed tonight. Amen. 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 Come on, put your hands together for the Lord, somebody. Somebody say, Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Glory to God. We thank God for his servant. Amen. We, on Saturday night, Glory to God, we have the, the, honor, the seal of honor when we come to honor the man of God. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. And we said last week, those of you that didn't have the open to come up in Arima, Glory to God, you can bring your seal of honor tonight. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. So we want to honor the man of God, but the word of God. Let's listen to the word of prayer. We can bring the seed after. Amen. Amen. So if you have your seeds, Spirit of God, we can let's just stand tonight. <laughs> 